Welcome back. Rudrance for the Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. If you are worried about this country, well, you need to be worried about this story because somebody that lays out in the weeds that a lot of people don't know about, okay? You'd be shocked how many average Republicans don't know the name George Soros, okay? A very left-wing billionaire that funds a lot of socialist democratic causes and campaigns. And George Soros has stepped up here and wagered a massive donation to a member of the squad running for governor in Georgia, a very important election. The socialist known as Stacey Abrams received a $1 million donation from, you guessed it, the boogeyman himself, the boogeyman himself, George Soros. Um, this should worry everybody. If you are a patriot, if you are Amer American, you believe in true democ democracy, and you don't want socialists running this country, this kind of thing needs to concern you. Let's get to this. This is the blaze. George Soros backs Stacey Abrams' campaign for Georgia governor with a $1 million donation. There is the boogeyman himself. Left-wing billionaire George Soros tossed $1 million behind Democrat Stacey Abrams' second campaign to win the governorship of Georgia. Keep in mind, Georgia is a very important swing state when it comes to a presidential election. The donation was made to a political action committee, as he always does, in March. And we're going to get to some of the other people he has funded. In March, before a judge ruled that Abrams would have to win the Democratic primary on May 24th before using the funds... On her campaign, a filing with the Federal Election Commission documented the donation from Democracy PAC 2, a federal committee organized to influence the 2022 elections. Soros has financed the committee with $125 million worth of funding. Soros has also personally donated to Abrams' campaign. The financier and his family gave about 60000 directly to her campaign. The Democracy PAC was first established in 2019 and utilized more than $80 million into the 2020 elections, according to a report in Politico. Among those elections was that of L.A. District Attorney George Gascon. They're trying to recall his ass right now who instituted criminal justice reform that many claim inspired a crime wave across Southern California. Gascon is facing a recall from residents and massive pushback from law enforcement organizations opposed to his easing of criminal punishments. That is the guy that just decided to not put a felony on the guy that attacked Dave Chappelle. Georgia has not been led by a Democratic governor for almost two decades. In the most recent polling, Abrams garnered support from only 45% of the state's residents, while Republican incumbent Governor Brian Kemp garnered 50%. Kemp, however, needs to defeat a primary challenge from former Senator David Perdue. If Perdue won, Abrams would only have to overcome a 3% deficit According to the same poll, Purdue is backed by Donald Trump. In February, Abrams was forced to apologize after public outrage ensued from a photograph she promoted where she smiled maskless while school children and teachers stood behind her with masks. Oh, she's the epitome of democratic socialist hypocrisy. She initially defended the photo and accused her opponents of smearing her before apologizing and admitting her mistake. And there is Soros right there. Keep in mind, politicians in which George Soros has influenced include 
helping Mayor Ted Wheeler in Portland get elected, and the BLM and Antifa have burned that city to the GD ground. I almost did it. I almost did it. Have burnt that city to the ground. Radical socialist Cory Bush elected because of the funding of George Soros. Look, all of these radical politicians that are the squad, anybody that could be considered a member of the squad like Stacey Abrams, Cory Bush, funded by Soros' dirty-ass money. You need to be concerned about George Soros always. Always, okay? Um, He's a socialist. He wants this country to become old Cuba, Venezuela, Russia, China. That is what you got to be concerned about. And Stacey Abrams is somebody we do not want holding that Georgia governor's seat. We are uh, a 2024 election win may hinge on this may hinge on this. Keep that in mind and keep in mind. If you have watched a certain documentary lately involving the word mules, you will understand. You will hear the name Stacey Abrams in that documentary, by the way. Tell me what you think, black and white network supporters. Anytime you see George Soros, you need to be concerned. It's bad. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.